Welcome back. I'm Ben Mankiewicz, joined by the producer and director of The Automat, Lisa Hurwitz. Wonderful film, Lisa. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I feel really good about it. <laughs> yeah, you should feel really good about it. The uh, And so fitting that it's on TCM. And, and, and you, as you're making this, knowing what the footage looks like, you had an idea that this should look like the kind of movie we air on TCM. I actually heard about a lot of these Automat scenes because people were watching TCM and they'd see a film with an Automat and then on social media, they'd post to our page or send me a message, Lisa, I just saw this, and they'd send me a screen capture. Mm -hmm. You were not a filmmaker. You had not uh, made a movie. You didn't know how to make a documentary. You didn't, I mean, you'd seen them, right? And you'd, you were a projectionist. But uh, what were the biggest stumbling blocks? What were, the big, what, was, what were the hardest parts, and who helped you? I think something difficult was probably maybe cut, cutting people out. We, we, I, we filmed so many interviews and with a lot of, you know, regular people too, customers. And in the end, you know, I had to explain to people, well, I'm really sorry, but like you've been replaced by Mel Brooks, which <laughs> most people understood. Yeah. I mean, even the governor of Pennsylvania, Ed Rendell, you know, even he didn't make it into you the final. You cut Ed Rendell from your film. Well, it was really important for me to try to balance, you know, gender and race. Sure, yeah. And, and I, had, I think had, we succeeded had... in that. And we just had to focus on who could carry a section of the film or who could be a presence throughout the film. And, you know, Wilson Good, the former mayor, former mayor he had a great interview. And, you know, you, you just have to make these really difficult decisions. I'd say one difficult thing was getting the, my editors. The way I chose my editors was by looking at my favorite films and then going after those editors. And I had this crazy idea. I would like to make one of the greatest documentaries about New York City. And so I was looking at documentaries about New York City. My editors had waiting lists, they were expensive. And that definitely slowed things down, but it was so worth it. You're not afraid to uh, be told no, clearly, which is if you're going to be a documentary filmmaker, you're going to hear that a lot. And actually, Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Colin Powell both said no to me the first time. They both sent me back letters in the mail that said, I have very lovely memories, but I don't think I would have enough to say to make it worth your while to come to D.C. And then you I sort of convinced them by saying, I'm coming to D.C. anyways to interview RBG. I'm coming anyways to interview Colin Powell. Neither of those interviews had been fully confirmed yet, but that was what did the trick. You bluffed Colin Powell and Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I did bluff oh them. That's so good. That is I'm so not, good. I, but I'm not, I mean, I sort of take back that fist bump a little. I'm not proud to, to bluff. I mean, I'm very, I'm proud no, that no. I was able to get them, no, but I mean, you know, no. you do what you've got to do. No, no, you it's should be proud. Earth. No, no, it's right. It's a, you, didn't, you didn't tell some massive lie. It's okay. No. That's what the, the number of people who've told me stories like that, really good filmmakers, you, you're on a good list. You're on I've a gotten good. hired that way too, just saying I'm, I'm going to be in town. Would you meet with me? Right, yeah. You know. The, uh, you know, you hear all these great stories about actors who come in, they're supposed to audition for a part they don't want, and they come in, they read for the other part. They're like, oh, my agent told me it was this part. Oh. Right? Yeah, Like, and sometimes it works. Lisa, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for having the Automat on TCM. Of course, of course. And up next, we've got Cary Grant and Doris Day in that touch of mink. Stay with us. <laughs> 